What's up? My name is Jesse Reyes, and I'm gonna show you what I do every day for my skincare and makeup. I use like shampoo and conditioner in the shower, and I like detangle. But once I get out and like have washed it out, I put like that much conditioner in my hair. It's regular conditioner. Like a little more. A little more just for like the tips. I grab the blow dryer and I flip over, and I literally just like. Chill, because I feel like when people do this and like move it around too much, that's when your hair gets frizzy. So I just like stay pretty t like still and just move the blow dryer close to my roots and stay away from my tips. <sighs> Semi dry, sorta. But you see where it's like still a little frizzy? Can I take some more conditioner? And just tame the frizz a bit. So I wash my face with like whatever soap's available, so whatever. I don't like to dry it completely, I like to keep it a little damp. And then I take a vino. This was my favorite because it's got the, like, the menthol in it. So if you're dead tired, it kind of wakes you up. And this is like legit like full body. Because of this the second I get out of the shower. And I just get mad moisturized. I'll tie my hair back. I'm very minimal, man. And I feel like when you work with people that love makeup, they're like, slather it on and relax. I don't need that much. So I dry a little bit on um, my eyes just to make sure it's not too moist there. Man, Rimmel's really good for this because I feel like other concealers cake so easily. Like you smile and then it's just bare lines. You look like a fucking zebra. Okay, yeah, so you do that. Just so that, oh. And then, rub around my fingers. Again, I'm not a fucking makeup artist, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm sure I might be doing this wrong, but this is what works for me, so deal with it. I've heard you're supposed to pat it in, but I've done that before, and when I pat it in, like dab it or whatever this, I feel like it cakes, but when I do this, it doesn't. So I just do like the inner corners and under my eye, and like the outer corners, mm, a little more. If you're like me and you didn't get much sleep, you might need a little more. For me, it's not so much the travel that affects my skin. For me, it's more so what I'm eating. So if I have a day where I'm just like, that oh, Henry looks delicious, that Hershey Kisses looks delicious, then the next day I pay for it. Like this is remnants of like something, some caramel, something. So uh, this one, that like double mascara, I'll kind of do this to take excess off. And then I like to go to the outer corners. The outer lashes being the heaviest. So I just go over them again. And then let that bitch dry for a little bit. I don't like doing my eyebrows, man. I mean, like, minimal, minimal shit. I just don't like going in on stuff. So I leave this naturally. But I grow unibrow, which you can kind of see here. So instead of plucking, because it takes too damn long, I do this. <laughs> and then I'm good. And then I'm good. So then this one, I do the same thing. I guess when I was younger, I was more of a tomboy. But then when I started like dancing and cheer like cheerleading and being a bartender is when I kind of started getting dolled up more. But I don't really like it. This stuff I do, I call this shit fake awake. Cause when I don't sleep and I have to do interviews or some shit, I don't even wanna wake up, like, walk up looking like a zombie. But when you do your lashes, it looks like you slept an extra 10 hours out here lying on people. For my lips, I mix it sometimes. Make sure it's dry. Revlon, like nude kind of color. Y'all are gonna laugh at me in a second. I don't like using foundation. I don't really like using blush or anything. But I feel like lipstick at least has a little moisture in it. And then I do this. Cause you see how I said I like the minimal stuff? I feel like this way, I don't OD on blush and I don't OD on lipstick. But then it kind of like balances each other out because I won't have a lot of blush and I won't have a lot of lipstick because I don't like looking caked up. And then sometimes I'll do this because I like how it looks like when it's like regular sun kiss. <laughs> and then a little bit of MAC lip glass, it's just fire. I just like putting it on the bottom and then figuring it out after because otherwise it's too much. Then I check if my hair is properly dry, which it's not, so then I dry it a little more. 
Like, if the show's at 3 o'clock, I'm not trying to be there at 12 to get ready or at 1 to get ready. I'd rather be there at 2.30 and then go. And then also, I sweat a lot, so I don't... I don't want to be worried about a lash falling off or anything like that when I'm on stage. I like looking, looking more natural than anything. When I was bartending, I used to cake it on, and I used to have to wear like those like push-up bras and make sure I was getting my tips and stuff. But I'm over it. It's just a lot. If you're not there yet, that's fine. Wear your lashes. Have your fun. Maybe you love it. Maybe it's your passion. But for me, I'm over it. When I'm doing my bun, I get a little bit of water first. And I do it with my hands because I don't really like it looking too perfect. And then I have my scrunchie, but under my scrunchie, I have just a regular hairband. I fold it up once. Boom. Then I get a little bit of gel, but I only do this sometimes. For example, if it's like a festival, I won't bother with this because I'll sweat it out. But if it's a photo shoot or something like that, then I'll do it. So I take a little bit of gel. it up and then a little bit of more gel a little bit more gel and then we're gonna take it to driftwood real quick my mom wasn't really the type to be like dolled up either and my mom taught me a lot of the ghetto tricks too that they used to do back in cali colombia like instead of blush they used to use remolacha and remolacha is radish so you didn't have that much money and you couldn't afford rouge or blush, you'd get radish and you'd use that. My mom, same thing, my mom never really used a lot of um, makeup or foundation or anything and my mom's got really nice skin. Like everyone always comments that on my mother. She's like 60 something and barely have, like, has any wrinkles. I think that probably has a lot to do with the fact that she didn't have a lot of chemicals on her face, which is part of the reason that I don't like like using foundations or using anything like that because if you're walking around with a mask all day, how is that healthy for your face? So I got one last one, and this is when I do the, this is when I do interviews, Not again, not really shows, because I feel like it sweats off anyway, but I use a little bit of highlighter. And this jokes, I didn't really start using this till later on. But when I first started, I didn't, I didn't really use much when I first started, when I was busking and stuff, aside from the mascara. And when I was bartending, sometimes I'd double up. So if I was bartending, then I'd be like full-faced and, and playing on the street. I fucking put way too much. Yeah, man. But if you're starting out and if you're just like, you're just getting started and you're playing on the street just like I was. One of the things that I heard from this guy named Doc McKinney, he gave me this quote, man, that I'll never forget. He was like, just, you got to do what you can where you're at with whatever you got. Because when people see you busting ass and working hella hard for yourself, that's the kind of energy you're gonna invite into your life. You gotta be the one leading. You gotta be the one pushing that shit forward. You gotta be the one that's like legit, like, no, I'm gonna happen or I'm gonna die trying. This is gonna happen. And that that really helped a lot, man. Those little quotes that, that just stick with you forever. <laughs> Shine it. Look, that's it, baby. Bye, see you later. Hasta luego, Dios lo bendiga, chao.